Hi friends, it's Shreya and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be testing out some Korean makeup that VTX BT21 sent me. Oh no. So if you're a fan of BTS, then you would know that they have a makeup line as well as skincare and other stuff. Um, but I was sent six products from their BT21 makeup line and I'm going to be testing out each and every one of them. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to start off with the base and I already did my brows. So they didn't send me any base products because I believe they only have two shades and both of those shades are way too light for me so i'm gonna go ahead and use my own products and for my base i'm just gonna use the la girl pro conceal concealer in the shade pure beige so i'm just gonna apply that on my under eyes because i have really dark under eyes but other than that i'm just gonna apply it on the tip and highlight on my face and as always i'm gonna use my fingers to blend everything out i really don't like brushes or beauty blenders anymore so okay so as expected i didn't think they would have a shade for me because that's kind of normal for korean brands they don't really have darker shades but i think they should really expand the shade range okay so now that i'm done blending my base i'm gonna go ahead and use the first product from their line which is the cheek cushion this one is in the shade 03 which i think is the shade fig one thing that i also wish they had was instructions in english because all of this is written in korean but for the packaging and for the container this is 100 percent a thumbs up i really love the 3d thing that they did with this character which i believe is mom but the packaging is just very adorable and i think that's why a lot of people like to buy this product not only because it's by bts but also because the packaging is so cute you would just want to collect everything this is the product so it's very pink and i'm hoping that this would show up on my face because if it doesn't then i would be very sad am i doing it right i'm pressing three times and this is what comes out okay i mean that's really pretty i'm not sure if it shows up on camera but it does have like a sheen It's really nice actually and i love the fact that it just gives such a nice glow on your face um kind of looks a bit too wet i'm hoping that that would kind of set later on we're gonna see but i love how nice it is i just hope that i don't run out of product because i need to build it up really well for it to show on my face and I believe that this one is the darkest shade. If this does stay on my face, then that's really great. But if it doesn't, then let's just see. Okay, so done with this. Now let's go ahead to highlight and contour. And they sent me two fit on sticks. This one is the contour and this one is the highlighter. So let's go ahead and use the contour first. Wow, wow. Oh, it's not on camera. Um, it's dark. I didn't expect it to be dark because it's a Korean brand, but it's actually dark. And I love the formula. I love how just nice and like silky it is. I'm not, no, silky is not the term, but it's just very creamy i'm not sure if i'm doing it right but i think if i was a few shades darker like at least one shade darker then this would be my foundation shade um which is not supposed to happen your contour should be at least like two shades darker than your face but yeah i think i passed on the shade range for this one the contour stick is like really nice actually now that i look at it like i'm done with the contour and all it's like really nice it does shade my face really well not sure if i blended it out well though so now let's move on to the highlight and again they only have one shade for the highlight um and it's white hmm. i'm just gonna use my finger instead of applying it on directly on my cheeks because 
I think this line was made for like a natural look. The highlight is just the right color for me. It does a good job, but I think the cheek cushion does a better job with highlighting my face which I don't think that should happen because this is the highlighter and that is the cheek cushion but it does, it does give some highlight but the more I layer on these products, the oilier I get so definitely they should come out with um, like a matte product like a, I'm gonna powder my face using the Innisfree No Sebum Blur Primer let's see if this all mattifies really well because right now I look really oily so As expected, I lost a lot of the glow, but I think I like it better now. So I'm also going to test out if the cream products would look good on top of this powder because I'm hoping to get a little more highlighter in after I do this powder because I think I lost a lot of the sheen that I wanted or that I liked a while ago. So Okay, so I've already applied three products on my skin. Four if you add the Innisfree powder, but I still look almost the same as I did a while ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and reapply the highlighter stick on my face. Oh, okay. So it, it works pretty well with the powder, so that's really good. I'm sorry if this video is getting a bit boring. I don't really remember how to film a sit down video, so let's just try to pace it up. Um, I'm gonna use the eyeshadow now. This one is the BT21 eyeshadow palette in the shade 02. So this one I've already opened uh, just because I was very excited and it looks really nice. I love the circle shape. But the shade range, I don't think it's for my skin tone. We're gonna start off by using the only matte shade which is this middle shade right here. And I'm just gonna use that all over my lids. Because my lids are getting a bit oily right now. I have very oily lids. I think that's a really nice shade. I'm not sure if it shows up on camera, but it's like a really soft, kind of pink brown shade. I underestimated the shades. I really like the middle one. Let's see if they do well with the shimmers. Because I know for a fact that Korean brands do really nice like shimmer shades. So yeah, I'm not really sure about the look that I'm going to be creating though, because... Sorry, I took a small break. I think I was saying that I wasn't really sure about what kind of eyeshadow look I'm going to be making with this, because they're all shimmers and I don't really work well with shimmers. I mean, personally, I don't know how to use shimmers. Um, I just use them right here or here, but that's all. But since these are all shimmers, I guess I'm just going to have to work um with what i have so i'm gonna use this on my inner or maybe this one and then this one on my outer or maybe this one i'm not really sure i'm gonna be using my fingers because i know that shimmers work really well with your fingers wow Ooh, wow okay mm. what did i just do let's add the this shade on the middle of my brows or my eye I'm almost on the verge of giving up with the eyeshadow but let me try to redeem myself by fixing it up using this I'm strictly using this palette by the way I want to test it out on its own if it could create a look without other palettes and if it's beginner friendly because even though I've like, done some makeup videos, I'm not really like great at eyeshadow. I don't really like it because I'm not good at it. Um, now let's move on to the lashes and I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and use this L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Oh, okay, but before that, I also wanted to add a little bit of eyeliner. So for my eyeliner, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Blythe Eyeliner Duo Stamp in the shade falling star so i'm just gonna do this off camera because i don't know how to do eyeliner okay so i'm back i just did my eyelashes and also my eyeliner which i know it's not like the same they're not even twins they're just strangers because this one 
goes like up here and then this one kind of goes to the side i forgot that i did this one to the side and so when i flicked the eyeliner up i instantly realized that i made a huge mistake but i just covered that up with the mascara and now let's move on to the last step of this whole makeup look which is the lips so bt21 sent me two lip products so i guess we'll start off with the lip lacquer because i know that this one is easier to remove they're very pigmented but the shade range yet again um i don't think this is morena friendly because it's orange and we don't do well with orange um should i even continue i mean the color is cute but it's just not it's not for me i don't think i'll be able to wear it every day or even on occasions because it's like really light let's try out the lip lacquer and this one i've actually also tried out it's like a pink shade for the pigmentation and also the formula of these lip products i would give them around for this one is around like 90 out of 100 and then this one this one is like 99 or 100 let's give it 100 out of 100 so the other one is not that hard to take off as i said but this one just stains even your teeth so be careful but this is what the color looks like it definitely does not fit the whole look but we're gonna have to go with it because from the two this is the color that would best suit the whole look so now that we're done with the makeup let's go on to my one by one thoughts on each of the product let's start from my favorite to least favorite for my favorite product it would probably be the eyeshadow palette because i just really like in particular the middle shade but i think it's just a really nice palette in general and if you're a fan of korean makeup or if you like to do korean makeup then you should definitely have this eyeshadow palette in your collection by the way i didn't get to discuss all of the prices but i'm going to be linking them down below surprisingly i like this for the shade and it's just a really white and nice shade um i really like it for its formula and for its shade moving on to my third favorite is another fit on stick this one is the contour stick which i was really surprised about the fact that it's dark because not a lot of korean makeup brands have dark contours or dark anything for the matter moving on to my fourth favorite which is the cheek cushion um i just really like it first of all for the packaging i think it had the best packaging out of all of the products i like the product i just really wish that they had the darker shade okay so for the lips um based on my review this one kind of one because this velvety one is just it's not the best shade out there it would be nice like it would be a really nice shade for people with light skin as i've said a million times in this video but it's just not for me i like the formula for the formulation and everything i get why it is high-end or the products are very pricey and because their ambassadors and character creators are bts then i definitely understand the pricing so let's move on to this one which it's just a really really nice lip tint honestly it's very pigmented you can control the pigmentation anyways by using a light hand the shade range is like it's okay you know this is the darkest shade but all in all the products are really cute if you're a fan of bts then definitely these are really nice collectibles or like merch yeah that's all i have to say about the products um bigger shade range but nice formulation so that's the end of this video and thank you so much to bt21 for sending me these products i really like them and hopefully you get to expand on your shade range but thank you again for sending this and thank you to you for watching this video and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below follow all my socials they'll be in the description down below and i'll see you on my next one